Welcome to eMachine Shop, where you can design and order custom mechanical parts via the web. This video gives an overview of the design software and takes you through creation of a simple part. The part will be a rectangle sheet metal bracket with four holes and a bend. First, let's identify the main areas of the screen. At the top of the screen, you'll see the main menu. Below that, is the top toolbar. Then comes the numeric bar, which will show measurements when you get around to drawing. Then comes the ruler. At the left edge is the left toolbar for drawing of basic shapes. The large blank area where drawings are made is called the workspace. At the bottom of the screen is the status bar. You can point the mouse for help on any button or icon. This applies to the top toolbar, the left toolbar, and the numeric bar. Now let's design the bracket. First, look at the ruler. Click on the millimeter button to toggle to the inch mode. Now, Let's choose a material for our bracket. Choose Job Material. We can scroll through the list of various materials available. Let's pick aluminum and select a sheet thickness of 62 thousandths of an inch. Click OK. Now let's draw the bracket. Go to the left toolbar and click the rectangle button. Go to the workspace and click the mouse once. Now drag to the desired shape and click again. Now we have the overall shape of the bracket. Next we'll add four holes in the corners. To do this, click the circle tool. Locate the first hole, click at the center, then pull out and click at the desired radius. Now we have our first hole done. Let's make three copies. From the menu, we choose Line, Repeat. That makes one copy. We'll use the accelerator key, Control D, for two more copies. Now move the copies into position by dragging with the mouse. After positioning the holes at the corners, we want to add a bend line down the middle of the bracket. Draw a straight line using the straight line tool. Go to the center of the top line and click. Now go to the center of the bottom line and click again. Now we need to decide which machine will make each line. For example, we need to assign our bend line to the bend machine. Click on the machine button. The machine dialog appears. Look in the list of machines, select bend, leave the default angle at 90 degrees, although this is where you'd change angles of future bends. Click OK. And then click in the blank area to deselect the bend line. A popular machine for cutting sheet metal is the laser. So we need to assign the laser machine to our remaining lines. While holding the shift key, select each of the other lines. After the lines are selected, click the machine button. Select laser, then click OK. That completes the drawing. Now let's see if the part looks like what we think it should look like. Click on the pyramid button to enter a 3D view. We can now see our design in 3D. We can drag to rotate, and we can zoom in and out. Now let's close the 3D window. Now we go to Job Settings and set various preferences. Set the quantity to the number of parts we want, and let's say 25 in this case. Other preferences can also be set relating to quality machine specifications, 
your shipping address, and things of that sort. Now click OK. Let's see if the machining expert, the onboard expert system software, likes our design. Click Job, Analyze. The system is now checking our design. Feedback appears on the right side of the screen. In this example, none of the messages require attention. Now we go to Job Checklist. We can go down the checklist to make sure everything is correct. The checklist helps you to make sure that you get the part you want. Click OK. Easy as that, we're done and ready to order using the order command. Designing and ordering parts is easy with eMachine Shop. You can now proceed to the next video, or for that matter, go ahead and start designing your own parts right now.